Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Brenton. Today, we're going to be reading the best-selling book, Duck on a Tractor, by David Shannon, one of our favorite authors. He is the author of the No David series. So again, this book is Duck on a Tractor by David Shannon. Down on the farm, Duck sometimes got wild ideas. One day, he decided he could ride a bike, so he did. Then he spotted the tractor. I bet I could drive a tractor, he said. The other animals weren't so sure, but they all said, well, if he can ride a bike, maybe he can drive a tractor too. Duck climbed on the tractor and looked around. He pushed some pedals and wiggled a metal stick, but nothing happened. Then a shiny little piece of metal by the steering wheel caught his eye. He pulled it out, he pushed it in, then he turned it. All of a sudden, a tractor shook and coughed and rumbled. It began to move. At first, it moved very slowly and it jerked a lot, but it was fun. Duck drove around the barnyard until he got the hang of it. Then he stopped in front of the other animals. Climb on, everybody, shouted Duck. Dog was first. He jumped right up next to Duck. Woof, said Dog, but what he thought was, we're going for a ride. To everyone's surprise, Cal clambered on next. Moo, said Cal, but what she thought was, this is the silliest thing I've ever done. Pig and Pig took a seat in back. Oink, said Pig and Pig, but what they thought was, this sure beats walking. Then came Chicken, Mouse, and Goat. Squawk, said Chicken, but what she thought was, last one on is a rotten egg. Squeak, said Mouse. But what she thought was, I can see everything from up here. Ma said Goat. But what he thought was, I'm hungry. Does this garbage dump have a drive through window? Next up were Horse and Cat. Cat jumped up gracefully onto the tractor. Horse, not so much. Meow, said Cat. But what she thought was, I was going to take a nap, but this should be very interesting. Nay, said Horse. But what he thought was, I think I'd rather walk. The only one left on the ground was Sheep. Ah, said Sheep. But what she thought was, this is too dangerous. Get on, Sheep, everyone shouted. But Sheep wouldn't budge. So Duck started driving away without her. Wait, cried Sheep. Don't leave me here all alone. She ran after the tractor and took a flying leap onto it. Quack, yelled Duck. But what he thought was, wahoo! Duck steered the tractor down the lane and out onto the main road, and before long they were driving right through the middle of town. It was lunchtime, so most people were in the diner. They all looked up when Duck and the other animals passed by the big window. A little boy named Edison was having lunch with his grandma. Did you ever, Grandma gasped, but what she thought was, a duck on a tractor, that's impossible. That's totally awesome, Edison shouted, but what he thought was, no one's going to believe this. Marcine, the waitress, looked up from her pad and noticed Cat. Heavens to Betsy, she exclaimed, but what she thought was, I like cats. Deputy Bob blabbered, if that don't beat all, but what he thought was, how am I going to explain this to the sheriff? A man named Otis chimed in, I must be seeing things. But what he thought was, oh no, not again. Holy cow, hollered Manny the cook. But what he thought was, holy cow. Manny usually thought, said exactly what he thought. The mayor almost choked on his pie. Good gravy, he sputtered. But what he thought was, those pigs are even fatter than I am. Quirky just whistled. But what he thought was, that duck is smarter than he looks. Gwen came out of the bathroom. Would you look at that, she exclaimed. But what she thought was, I can't see a thing without my glasses. Farmer Odell observed, that's a dang nice tractor. But what he thought was, hey, that's my tractor. He decided he'd better go after it. So it 
He decided he better go after it and ran out the door. Everyone else ran out too and chased after him. By this time, Duck had turned onto the next street. The tractor shuddered to a stop. Duck tried running the shiny little piece of metal again. Nothing happened. I don't know much about spelling, said Dog, but I think that E means it's the end of our ride. Sheep cleared her throat. You know, she said, I think he might, we might get in trouble for this. Let's get out of here, yelled Duck, just as Farmer Odell and everyone from the diner came around the corner. Everyone burst out laughing. <laughs> nah, they all said it couldn't have been. It was an optical illusion, exclaimed Otis. Farmer Odell said he must have left his tractor running by accident. I guess that explains it, Deputy Bob agreed. Then they all went back to the diner to finish their lunch. And no one ever admitted that on that day, they had seen a cow, a goat, a cat, a dog, a sheep, a chicken, a horse, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a tractor. The end. I hope you enjoyed story time with Mrs. Brenton. Have a great day.